Hello to everyone. Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to do a message for the collective. Um, and if the message resonates with you, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if it doesn't resonate, then feel free to come back to hear another uh, message that might be more catered to what's going on with you. Uh, this particular message might be something that, you are, that you've that you already gone through, that you are currently going through, or that you may be getting ready to go through for those of you who this resonates with. Um, I also want to give thanks for uh, some of the beautiful, generous donations that um, some of you have made. I do strongly appreciate it, and I thank you um, to um, Mrs. Reynolds. Uh, let's see who else here. Um, to the anonymous donor uh, donator, I thank you. Um, to Mrs. Priest, T. Priest. Um, and let's see, to A. Hiley. I thank you all for your donations. And if you would like to donate to my channel, you can always check the description box. If you want a private reading, you can always email me. I do charge for my private readings, um, but email me and we can set up a date. Um, my schedule is pretty open and I would say I'm pretty flexible. So feel free to email me for a private reading if you desire one. So let's get right into it. So I had a dream, y'all. It's very short. It was actually a lot going on in the dream, but the only parts that I can remember is like towards the end. Um, I was driving in my car with my children and we ended up in an area, I don't know where we was at, but it was all nature. And, um, you know, I was enjoying the scenery. It was a lot of water on my left hand side on my driver's side. And so I was really enjoying the scenery and somehow I almost tipped off of the road and into the water. But I was able to get back control of my car. And so I kept driving, you know, because at this point I had to be more alert. And so I was like, OK, let me let me straighten up and get, you know, because I, I feel like I was in in a daze, you know, just maybe captured by the the beauty of the nature, you know, of the trip or whatever. And so I said, OK, let me get back, you know, in alignment here so I can keep driving and not get into an accident. And so I kept going and I ended up in a whole bunch of like snow. All of a sudden the, gra the ground was filled with snow. I'm talking about thick snow, you know, if you ever lived in like Illinois, that type of snow, you know. And I was just like, well, where did this come from? You know, I had no warning. You know, you go from a day of, you know, is the sun is shining, the water is glistening, to all of a sudden I'm stuck in snow. And so I looked around and all of a sudden, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to turn the car around because at that point it was like, the, it was getting higher and higher the more that I kept going. And so when I got ready to turn around, I realized a lot of people was walking on foot at this point. People had decided to leave their cars behind. And so I was like, okay, well, what am I going to do? Because I have all of my children in the car, you know? And so I, at that point I had to make a decision. Am I going to turn around and, you know, risk the potential of getting stuck in this snow or am I going to just leave my car, take my children out and walk to wherever it is we need to go? And then I woke up. So it led me to do this message in regards to the test. OK, what tests might the collective, um, you know, be faced with at this time? And what are ways that you can overcome that test? OK, just like being in school, you want to be prepared for a test um, and you want to know what type of preparation you need to make in order to pass that test. And, you know, for me in the dream, I would, you know, it would have been nice if I was prepared for the shift in, you know, in the weather, then I would have known not to take that route, you know, or I would have been more prepared in some way. And so I feel like it's one of those things where preparation is necessary at this time in order to be able to stay balanced and to make the right decisions, okay? So let's just see what's going on in terms of the test that might be coming um, towards the collective and ways that we can work on passing that test, okay? Okay. One thing I can say is that in the dream, though, it didn't take away from the experience, okay? I, I wasn't disappointed. I wasn't afraid. I wasn't upset. 
I wasn't frustrated. I didn't, I didn't, I don't recall feeling any of those emotions when I was, you know, facing that, you know, uh, decision of being stuck in the snow, potentially getting stuck in the snow. Um, so it didn't take away from the beauty of what I had experienced prior to hitting that particular roadblock, I guess you could call it. And so um, I feel like that may be very important in terms of whatever this test is, is to not miss the the beauty in the moment. So, okay, these two cards came out in the reverse. This is the nine of uh, wands and the six of swords in the reverse, okay? So with these two cards coming out in the reverse, it's almost, it's, it's an energy of giving up on something or releasing something, no longer holding on to something here where you might have felt mentally stuck. And this is another, you know, that just reminded me, you know, being in the car, feeling stuck because the six of swords in the reverse is all about no forward movement and the upright is, you know, moving ahead. But in the reverse is feeling stuck here. And then the nine of wands is like um, giving up on a situation. So let me see, what is this? Six of Swords and Knight of Wands in the reverse. Maybe something where you was mentally trapped or feeling stuck in a situation, but no longer holding on to that. Um, no longer holding on to taking that particular path or taking that particular route here. I got the Four of Wands. Potentially something from your past. Maybe something from your childhood um, that might have kept you stuck. This could be an energy of Maybe feeling stuck in the past. Um, something that comes up from the past, from childhood. Something that happened in the home may resurface. And you're being called to release the situation. Don't hold on to it. Don't hold, don't hold on to the pain associated with it. But move forward. Don't allow yourself to become mentally stuck in the situation. So if something comes up from your childhood, maybe somebody might mention something or bring something up from the past that might have happened within your home. You're being called to release it and not allow yourself. I just heard trauma bonding, not allow yourself to get caught up in this. So we have the justice and the six of wands here. I feel like if there's if someone tries to test you by bringing up the past, by taking it way back to your childhood or something that may have happened in the past, it could be about your children, it could be about your childhood, something about the past here though, children potentially or the past. Justice is being served in this situation and I feel like you're being rewarded for releasing this and no longer staying stuck in it but the test is that maybe someone or something some kind of way this may resurface and you're being called to stay focused in on your success your victory um and to balance this situation out by using this sword here because with the justice you have the justice skills all about balancing things out um, and using that sword there to cut out people, places, and things that's not going to allow you to maintain that balance. And operating from a space of integrity, it's almost like somebody, you may have someone that comes in that sees that you are balanced. They see that you are, you know, victorious and successful at this time. But they want to come back in to bring up the past, almost like they're trying to test you to see if this is who you truly are. If who you present yourself to the public and to the world to be is actually the core of who you are. Or can they make you go back to the past version of yourself before you went through this transformation? Can they do something to cause you to become mentally stuck in this situation? They want to see if you're going to operate from a space of integrity 
Or are you going to allow this situation to cause you to go back? They want to see if that older version of you is still there. So you have some people, this could be people from your past that want to try to come in and throw you off balance here. People that you potentially walked away from. Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So you probably walked away from these people and they're wanting to come in and try to create a scenario to cause you to become off balance in your energy, okay? Somebody who might be very disappointed at the fact that they're taking losses, okay? Maybe this is somebody who was very codependent in their energy. You're, you know, you've walked away from this person and you're no longer stressing out about this person, but they themselves, they're not grounded. They're not stable, okay? Um, and so they're having some difficulties here and I feel like they might be watching you in your victory and your success and they see that you're being applauded or that you're being... Um, you know, you have support backing you up and there's something about their energy that's not, they're not happy about that. Okay. And so somebody, they might want to come in, they might want their own justice. They might feel like they're being left out in the cold here. Somebody from your past. Okay. So yeah, they're going to try to come in and make some sort of emotional gesture here. I feel like that's their way of trying to creep into the crack here. Um, what is this Knight of Cups? They might try to come in and either apologize or offer something, you know, some sort of emotional communication. What is this Knight of Cups? But I, I do feel that the test is largely to see if you're going to go back to feeling bruised and, and beaten up all over again, or are you still going to maintain your position? Um, so yeah, the, look at this. This is the eight of wands in the reverse. So you might have blocked communication with this person, or when they come in, you might feel compelled to block communication with them. You're not going to accept this offer. Something about the offer that they're making that you will not receive. Or this could indicate that in the past you rejected that offer. And so I feel like this person is trying to take action to come towards you again. Whoever this is. Whether it's a romantic interest, you know, an ex, um, a, a friend, co-worker, whoever this is. Family member. Yeah, you're, you're not going to receive this, okay? Um, I feel like you're standing very firmly in your position because the emperor is like you're, you're not going to um, be moved by this situation, okay? The page of wands in the reverse is like you know that this person is not good news and there's a lot of immaturity here, okay? This is coming off as being a very immature energy, whoever this is. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like you're going to block the communication. And so it could be that the test is, are you going to allow this person back into your life knowing that they're not good news, knowing that they're immature, knowing that they're very flighty in their energy? Um, for some of you, this could be an ex that was very promiscuous in the relationship. But if this is not the case, this is someone who sees you in your victory. They're having a lot of problems here. I feel like they're dealing with a lot of karmic debt that they incurred because of the things that they might have done to you or just you and, and, and just in life in general. They just, they wasn't putting the best energy out there. They wasn't acting from a space of integrity. And so now they're taking losses and they're feeling some type of way about you being in the spotlight, you receiving um, accolades for the sacrifices that you've made and one of the sacrifices was you releasing them. And so they're stuck in their head about that. And they want to come in and they want to try to offer on the surface, it seems like some sort of emotional sentiment that they're trying to offer. But behind that, what they're really trying to do is strike up some sort of, what is, what is, the, what is the goal of this person? I feel like what they're trying to do is strike up some sort of um, confrontation to see if you're going to go back or to see if there's some sort of way that they can get you off balance here, okay? Um, but, and I also sense jealousy. There's jealousy that's here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So whoever this person is, 
they they've come up with this this bright idea here okay they've come up with this bright idea to come in to see how they can get back I feel like they're trying to get back at you for something. And I feel like it's largely dealing with you walking away from them and just moving towards your own happiness. So whoever this person is, this could be a female. It could be a male. Whoever it is, they're not, they're not happy. They're angry and they're liars with the queen of swords in the reverse and the three of cups in the reverse. This could be an old friend, people, somebody that you used to hang out with. Maybe you hung out with them amongst other people who also was not true friends. And so I feel like I heard this person is also, they, they slander, they gossip as well. Um, but with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, this person is a liar. They're very angry. They're very bitter. They're jealous. And they want to try to come in and kick up some dust here, okay? Um, but see, Queen of, I mean, the King of Swords is in the upright. You're coming back at them from a space of, you know, honesty, okay, with the sword being in the upright. They're coming in with lies, Maybe even trying to work with other people who are also against you with the Three of Cups in the reverse. But they're coming in with lies, but you know the truth. You've already done your own investigation. You've already done your work to see the true nature of this person. And so you're sitting in the King of Swords energy, which is I'm not taking any mess. I'm going to use this sword to cut you out because I understand that what you're coming in with is, is off. We not, we're not balanced here. We're not on one accord, okay? You're coming in with lies, but I'm coming in with the evidence to present the truth. And I'm going to cut you out and continue down my journey. So I feel like the test is largely dealing with someone who wants to come back in and see if they can just throw you off balance. And so while they think that they're trying to test you to see if you are who you say you are, they're being tested. They're being tested to see if they learned the lessons, okay? Did you actually get the lesson? Because, see, the scales is being balanced for you. You've been operating from a space of integrity. But, see, the question is, while they're trying to test you to see if you're going to budge and to see if they can get up underneath your skin with these lies, this drama, potentially calling other people in to try to create scenarios for you, maybe, you know, um, just all from a space of jealousy because they see you in your power, you're coming back at them from a space of integrity because you already see things very clearly. And so while they think they're testing you, they're actually being tested themselves to see, have you gotten any part of this lesson? You already taking losses. You already losing financially. Okay. You're already trying to juggle things. You're already emotionally off balance. You're already cut out of my life. Okay. They're already cut out of your life. And so... Did you get the lesson for the things that you've already done? But see, out of this person is not passing this test because they're still trying to start things. They're still trying to, you know, impede on the healthy boundaries that you set for yourself. And so this is where you're being called to maintain. Yeah, because see the page of, um, look at this. They jealous as hell, whoever this person is. Page of Cups in the reverse. They're going to come to you on the surface acting like, you know, they've matured. They stepped up. You know, I'm just coming in, just trying to make this little offer, you know, um, and speak my truth or whatever. But what they're coming in with, this stuff is, is not even genuine. Okay? It's not genuine. The type of apology that they might bring to you or whatever emotional sentiment that they might try to bring. It's only trauma bonding to see if they can get back into your space. OK. And so with the queen of wands in the reverse, this person here, like I said, it could be a, it could be a female, uh, but it might be a male. It doesn't matter. This person is very jealous. OK, they're very insecure. They're very bitter. They're very cutthroat in the things that they do and they will manipulate a situation um, by any means necessary. The five of pentacles is here to indicate this for, this person is feeling left out in the cold, but they've also taken a whole lot of losses because of this type of energy right here. Because they don't operate from a space of integrity and they manipulate situations, okay? They're very evil is what I'm picking up on. This person ain't about to write. And so they're going to try to come back in because they're feeling those abandonment issues are starting to kick in for them. I sense that this person... Yeah, they're doing, they're very emotional right now. You've blocked your heart off from this person and you're no longer emotionally available to this person. And see, they're starting to lose their patience. They're starting to lose their cool. But you had to walk away from this person, whoever it is, because they was already emotionally off balance. They wasn't stable. It was something, something ain't right. Okay, it seems like something is not right here. And so 
um, yeah, look, you had to walk away from them because it was just too much drama. And so this person, they starting to become impatient. They're not healing. That's the problem. You know, if you have, let's just say, you know, there's redemption, okay? There is redemption for people who get the lessons and move forward, okay? They get the lessons, they heal, and then they learn not to do certain things, okay? We all probably have a story where we could say, okay, well, I could have done that a little differently. And so you had to face a certain lesson in life in order to heal from it and to understand the importance of operating from integrity. But this person ain't getting no lessons. They don't understand it. They think that they're supposed to be able to emotionally manipulate people, lie, uh, kick up dust, start drama, gossip, do all of these things and still be able to live a life that is um, that's, that's pain free. OK, that's lesson free. They feel like they're supposed that they're, they're they feel entitled. There's a sense of entitlement here when it comes to this person. And so they're dealing with lack. They're dealing with poverty. They're feeling abandoned, okay? They're, they're, they're dealing with low self-esteem, insecurity. They're being dealt the hand that they put out to you. And some of these people, this could be a sibling of yours, okay? Somebody from your past that you've known since childhood. But if it's not a sibling, this could have been someone that you live with. Like I said, it could be anybody. Just know that the test is this person is bitter and they want to try to come in to see if they can pull you back with them. Because they know that the scales are being balanced for you and they don't like it. They don't like that you're passionate. They don't like that you're excited about the position that, you, that you're um, being placed on. They don't like the fact that you're being applauded for your efforts and that you're being rewarded for your perseverance and your strength. They do not like that you are balanced and that you're operating from a space of integrity. And they damn sure don't like the fact that you have established these boundaries with them and that you've taken your power back. You're sitting on your throne. You know who you are. OK, and you're not going to take just anything from anyone. Maybe in the past you was passive with this person. Maybe in the past, you know, there was something about your energy where they had it in their mind that they had permission to mistreat you. But I'd say if this person comes in and they start to act like they don't have no sense, you might want to politely tell them, you know, I, I apologize that you was under the impression that you had permission to disrespect me. But this ain't that. OK, the boundaries have been set. If this is the hand that you are dealt then deal with it. But I know what hand I've been dealt based on the energy that I have put out there and based on the way that I have treated people. And so if you are dealing with lessons, then pass the test. Do what's necessary to pass the test. But impeding on me and my peace is not going to happen. And then you might have to go ahead and block that person if you haven't already done it. Whatever, however you decide to check them, do it from a space of integrity and do it in a way where you come, you come straightforward, direct with the truth, okay? Showing them that you have that sword in your hand and you will use it even though they're trying to come in underhanded with the sword, okay? They got the swords down, so they're coming in with lies. They're coming in disrespectful and flip at the mouth in the way that they speak to you. Don't match them in that energy because that's what they need. That's the fuel that they need in order to feel like they still have some sort of stronghold over you emotionally. This person is emotionally off balance. There's something not right about their mental state, okay? Um, you've closed out the cycle. This is what you're being called to do, to step over that threshold and to leave whoever this person, people, you know, whoever, one person, two people, however many people it is, leave them right where they sit and allow them to go through those karmic lessons because it's very necessary for them right now, okay? Um, and so let me see if there's anything else coming out in terms of what this person might try. This queen of swords in reverse, queen of wands in reverse, Oh, look at this, y'all. You can't make this stuff up. So look at this. They're watching you so hard with the Page of Swords. That's all they do is watch you. It's like they're a damn stalker. They watch you and they try to come up with ways on how they're going to manipulate you, how they're going to try to bring those dark clouds back into, their, into your life because they don't like the fact that you're happy. They don't like the fact that you are at peace with life and that you are, you know, in your power right now. They don't like that. And so this is what they, they have been known to do this. They manipulate people and they try to always win at all costs, okay? They will stop at nothing to win. And so they're watching you to see when is the right time to make their move. 
when is the right time to 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 come in and kick up look at this to stir up some sort of drama but see the fact of the matter is you're not stressed out you know this person is stressing because they they're losing everything whoever this person is some of you is an ex it's an ex lover okay they're so unhappy okay cuz the uh the lovers is in the reverse for some of you it's an ex it can be an ex-best friend. It can be somebody that you was in a contractual agreement with, whether it's a business partner, co-worker, you know, it can be anybody. But whoever this person is, they are so jealous because they're, they're codependent on bringing others down with them, okay? That's what gives, that's what feeds them. That's how you know that they're sick and that they're operating from their lower nature, Okay. Um, this person knows that you're no longer stressed out about them. You're no longer thinking about them. This, it could be an air sign. Okay. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But if it's not, then just know that this person wants to test you to see, are you as healed as you portray yourself to be? Because they believe it's an act. They, they think that because they're not, at this point, they're not able to see things from a spiritual perspective. They're not able to understand how to go about healing themselves because they're, they're too busy creating more karma for themselves. And the more karma they create, the more bitter they become, okay? The more negative karma they call to themselves, the more bitter they become each time they have to deal with these harsh lessons, but they're not passing the test. They're not passing you know, to get to the next uh, season of their life. They're not closing out these cycles. They're just calling more negativity in because they keep, they stay in this energy. They stay in this energy of manipulation. And I feel like they don't just do this with you. They do this with everybody that crosses their damn path because they're so bitter. They're so bitter. They're so insecure. Um, you know, they, they don't like themselves. Okay. Some of them, you know, a lot, a large part of it is because they, they don't like what they see even in the mirror. They feel like what they see in the mirror is just, just ugly. And I mean the whole, as within, so without. Okay. If you're not, if, if on the inside you ugly, then it will start to show on the outside. Like you can, at this time, you know, I have this lady who works here in this, um, in this, uh, building that I'm staying in. And, you know, I've seen the expression on her face a few times in the past where I ask her about something. You know, first of all, I speak before I ask anything and she won't speak back, you know, and her answer to certain things is no. And so the, 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 uh, a couple of days ago, I said, well, do you have a problem with me? Because I, I noticed that every time I say something to you, you seem. And so she right away, she starts smiling, looking all cross eyed and silly, you know. And so it was like, um. You can tell, it's like you can spot the, the devil on these people. You can spot the, the low vibrational energy that's on these people. And when you call it out, when you call the devil by its name, that's when all of a sudden they want to put on this mask, su su put on this, this, this facade, this mask, okay? Suddenly you could put a smile on your face, but you couldn't even do that when I said hello. You could, matter of fact, you couldn't even form your lips to speak back. But this is the type of energy that you have surrounding you. People that are, that are just jealous in their nature, just off the strength that you're shining and that you're doing your thing and that you're minding your own business and just receiving those blessings and rewards that's rightfully coming to you because you've done the work. And so whoever this is, like I said, potentially from the past, um, your childhood or you know wherever they are in your past, you walked away from them and they're angry about that. And now they're taking a lot of losses and you're not taking losses. You're sitting in your power. You know, you're sitting on your throne. Some of you have become entrepreneurs. Look at this. The Empress and the Emperor. I just happened to hold this one up and this was at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are coming into your divine unions, but even more so, many of you have come into union with yourself. You have balanced out your own masculine and feminine energy. And in this masculine energy, you've taken your power back. You've established those healthy boundaries for yourself. You're no longer in codependent energy because you are your own boss. You know who you are, okay? And you say what you mean and you mean what you say. And in your feminine energy, you are creative in your nature. You are healing. You are a healer. You've done the work to heal yourself. And now you're able to do the work to help heal others in whatever measure that is, okay? But you are abundant in your energy. Your creative nature is flowing. You're attracting many beautiful things to you. And you're glowing, okay? You know, you're, you're doing your own thing. You've, and so with these two energies merging, 
with you integrating and coming into union with yourself, with your masculine and feminine energies, you are doing, look at this, you are doing well, you're shining, you're glowing, okay? You're happy, you're exuding, you're, you know, the vibrations that you're putting out there, you know, people can't help but take notice because you're shining, okay? It's, it's visibly apparent that you're happy. And so this is why others are mad because it's like they want to see if beneath the surface, if beneath the surface is that old person still there, that they can get up underneath your skin and just throw you completely off balance because that's what they need in order to feel good about themselves. Like I said, some of these people are a sibling, okay? But you're going to block that out. You, you, Not only are you blocking it out, but you're putting the stuff to rest. It's over with, okay? All of these cards indicate not only are you protected from this energy, but you're protecting yourself from this energy. You're not going to allow these people to come in and try to rock you because that's what happens. When people see you shining and they watching you all hard like little stalkers, okay? When they see you shining and getting your, your reward, after the Six of Wands comes the Seven of Wands. Because now you got all of these people that want to try to come in and block you from your success. They want to try to come in, you know, they are that opposition that you where you have to fight to stay on top. But see, you're just going to protect your energy and just put their little asses to rest because it's over with. You know, it's not no looking back. You ain't going back because the world is here. That cycle has completed. They had their opportunity, you know, and, and that's the sad part. It's like they're so jealous in their energy. They have no no drive, no passion. You know, they have, they don't know how to take back their power and create for themselves. Okay. They don't know how to, you know, they're just, I feel like they're just, they're lazy. They don't want to do the work to heal. They don't want to do the work to heal. And therefore, if you don't do the work to heal, then there's many other levels that you just won't make it to. You're not going to be able to make it to being able to, uh, awaken your creative gifts you're not going to be able to make it to establishing your own authority and, you know, maybe even coming that entrepreneur. And if you do, if you're able to make it to that level, you have to do a lot of underhanded things to get there. And so then you have to pay the piper back for all of those underhanded things you had to do to get to the top. OK, which they they that's the illusion. They think that's the top, but it's really still at the bottom. OK, because they so weighed down the materialism that they're not even light enough in their energy to evolve. So even if you've done all of this underhanded stuff, queen of wands in the reverse, to get to, to so-called the top, okay? Once you get there, you're still low vibrational. You're still lower than the person who had, doesn't have the material things to show for it yet, but they've done the work to heal and to evolve spiritually. That person is sitting way higher than anybody who, even the, the you know, a multimillionaire, you could be sitting on Bill Gates type of money and still be lower in vibration than someone who's done the work to heal and who understand the power they possess and who have done the work to go through the spiritual evolution. They're, they're still too low in their energy because they're only focused on false power, abuse of power, ego, materialism, and their carnal nature. And so all of that energy is heavy, okay? Um, and so this is where this person sits. But this person, they've taken a lot of losses. Some of them are having health issues. You know, they just going through it all. And they hate the fact that you're doing well, okay? You're, 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 you're more youthful than you've ever been, okay? You're glowing. You're shining. You're happy. You're resilient. You're transparent in your energy. You've healed your inner child. Your inner child is happy now. And see, this person, they wanted you to stay stuck in those in that past pain because I feel like that's where you was able to connect with this person through the unhealed wounds that you had from childhood. And this is why that person was able to, you know, be a part of your life for whatever time they did. This is why you attracted that person to you because they played largely on your pain. And so now there's, there's no, there's no chemistry here. There's no love, you know, maybe from a distance, you might say, okay, well, I love them from a distance, but it's a far distance. Okay. And so the ace of swords is in the reverse. And so is the high priestess. You know, this person is a liar. You see them very clearly, but see, they want you to, they want to come in and spew lies and hope that you won't listen to your intuition. That's what they're hoping for. They're hoping that you won't pay attention to those messages because see, you know, it's time to make a judgment call on their actions, okay? And not only you making a judgment call, but a judgment call is being made across the board. We're in the age of Aquarius in a time of revelations. So all of those things that these oh, silly people have been doing, trying to come up against folks and keep people from rising and getting their blessings and moving forward and healing, you, you got to be judged for it, 
okay? And there's nothing, you can't cover it up. These people are naked. You still gonna be judged. There's nothing you can do to cover it up. You can put on that little false smile. You can't cover it up. So the test is, these people want to try to take you backwards, okay? And, you know, like I said in my dream, yeah, they want to try to cause illusions for you, confusion for you, have you sitting up there, you know, trying to figure everything out, bring them clouds back into your life, okay? And they want to try to do it in an underhanded way. But, um, you know, these people, it's over with for them, okay? Knight of Pentacles, I feel like a lot of things have slowed down for them. They don't even know which direction to go in. Like, they're confused. They're trying to figure out how to get where you are. But rather than just humbling themselves down and, you know, acknowledging their wrongdoing and acknowledging the facts. Like I said, some of these people got emotional imbalances, okay? Rather than acknowledging the fact that they have issues that they need to heal and, you know, maybe seeking out from you. Well, how did you do it? How did you heal? Can you give me some advice? No, they don't want to humble down. They would rather just pull you down with them like crabs in a barrel, okay? And so, queen of wands in reverse, queen of cups in reverse, queen of swords in reverse. This person, they are not growing. They are not abundant. They 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 lack create creativity. They are just everything opposite an empress, okay? Because you almost, the only thing that's missing at this point is the queen of pentacles, okay? And they actually, the queen of pentacles, yeah, that already came out. The Queen of Pentacles came out. The Queen of Pentacles came out in the reverse. So we got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of um Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Cups in the reverse, and the Queen of Swords in the reverse. This is not no doggone Empress or Emperor. This is somebody who is very, very, I mean, just upside down in every part of their energy. Everything is backwards about them. They are so whew, that. I just have to say it. In this lifetime, I don't see this person being able to evolve because they are so resistant to change. They hold on to this energy so tightly. It's like they depend on drama. They need the drama in order to, um, to feel any sense of power, I guess. But the only power that they feel is when they're actually able to affect someone else by bringing that drama and so this is why this person they it's like they need your energy they need to feed on your energy even if it hurts you and so this person wants to try to come back in and cause some disruption but i'm telling you block their asses and close the door put it to rest it's over with for you go through the damn transformation you're gonna have to go through that straight up death and rebirth because this person you know, they're going to have to go through that death and rebirth in order to be able to close out this cycle for themselves because they're so bitter. They are so bitter. It's bad. And that's why it's affecting their health. Look at this. There's, not only are they bitter, but they're deceptive. They're sneaky. You know, they're liars. And they're so weighed down with this energy because they've accumulated it so much over time. It's like some of these people, they even they back, you know, everything about them, everything about them physically, emotionally financially, spiritually, is low vibrational and energy, and it's heavy, okay? It's so heavy. And so, um, look at this. All of the betrayal, this person ain't about right at all. Don't let this person back in your life. You know who this person is, and when they come, take this sword and cut their asses off because all they want is to come into your energy and to try to cause, look at this. All I did, look at this. I just cut the deck. And there it is. They want to try to cause drama for you. They want to try to kick up dust for you by, by whatever means necessary out of jealousy. But see, that card, I didn't mean for these cards to fall out of my hand, but this is how the message is coming through. This is the test. They're going to try to come in and cause all this drama, but you make that judgment call on their asses. You already see them for who they are because they're already stripped down naked. You see everything very, very clearly. You ain't blinded to nothing with that sun coming out, okay? The sun illuminates all things. And so judgment call is being made on them. Let them go through their, their karma. Let them receive the karma that they have called on themselves, okay? It's their time to receive their judgment. It is judgment day. And so what they need is your energy because they are hoping that they can create a scenario. Some of them are working with other people against you who, you know, maybe this could be co-workers as well for some of you, okay? But at the end of the day, they're mad because you're shining, you're thriving, you're no longer in survival mode, but you are thriving. You've taken your power back and you've done the work. And so 
out of their bitterness, they're going to try to sneak in to see if they could, you know, dump off some of these problems because it's so heavy on their asses. They don't know what to do with it except try to dump it off on you out of jealousy, you know, thinking that, okay, you know, if I can get this person back into my energy and get them arguing with me, then I have done my job. That's what they wake up to do. They wake up to cause drama for others. And that's why they sit back and they watch you so close. You know, they're so jealous, but at the same time, they admire you at the same time because they wish that they could do the work that you did so that they could get where you're going. But see, they could if they just took the time out to do it. But that, that's the problem. They don't want to. OK, they don't want to. They don't want to. Uh, you know, do what's necessary. And so it is what it is, okay? You ain't trapped. You're not mentally trapped when it comes to this person anymore. You're not stuck anymore. You're not stuck in your head thinking about them. It's over with. There is no forward movement. This person, ain't even, they're so pessimistic about life. It's just sad, okay? But you're not stuck in your head about this person anymore because, again, you know how much drama they bring. They're just full of drama. They ain't got no type of spiritual connection with the Hierophant in the reverse. And all they want to do is try to cause a tower moment in your life. But the tower has already come down for them because the, the foundation of the relationship that y'all had was false. So now they're stuck. There's not much that they can do. And so they're hoping that you'll get stuck, but it's not going to happen. Let me just pull for some advice for you before we close out. That's the test, okay? And so like I said in my dream, had I had a warning to say, okay, well, don't, don't go that way then I would not have gotten, I would not have been in a position to have to try to work my way out of what I had, you know, driven into. So just know that, um, yeah, look at this. It says, choose wisely, choose wisely. Communication is key. So with these two cards coming out for me, it's like, choose the way that you communicate with this person. Cause all they want to do is cause you to, you know, become disrupted in your energy and to say something where you might regret later. So it's no need for that. Okay. If you're going to communicate with them, say what needs to be said, be straightforward, direct, you know, with the evidence that you know you have on this person based on their habits, based on their patterns from the past, you know the type of character that this person has, you know this person is they mentally off, and some of you know that this person has been watching you, so just choose your words wisely, and choose the direction that you go in, look at this, and that's funny because I was just talking about if I would have just taken a different path, choose your direction wisely, okay, so that you know um, that you're not going to get stuck in a situation where you have to try to figure out how you're going to work your way out of it. So choose wisely and choose how you communicate wisely. Don't just look at this from your natural eyes, but close your, you know, close your natural eyes and see this from a spiritual perspective as well. Because everything, you know, this is not just, like I said, this is not just a test in terms of them trying to come in. Yeah, them trying to come in to test you, but it's more so they're being tested to see if they've learned anything, which they clearly have not. And you're being tested to see, are you going to continue to utilize the tools that you have obtained to keep your energy balanced in spite of their attempts towards you? So take back your authority. Stand in your power. This is the emperor card coming out again, just a different deck. Stand in your power. You know the authority that you possess. You possess the authority to be the co-creator of your life and to alchemize any energy. And so you know how to handle low vibrational beings, okay? You know how to handle those types of people who are just emotionally off balance. And so I'll take these last three and close out. You have transformation here, okay? So continue to do the work to transform, okay? Because you're a totally new person. Um, and so they want to see if you're going to go back to the old version of yourself. But that's that's over with, okay? That that shell, that's already been removed, That that those walls that you had around you, that inauthentic person that you used to be, that's not you anymore. You've gone through the cocoon phase and you've come out and now you are that butterfly ready to fly, okay? And that's what you're doing. You're flying to new heights and you're going to continue to fly. You're not going back to being on the ground like the caterpillar. No, you're up and you're flying about. You're, you're able to reach new heights now because you're a totally new being. And so you have the truth, okay? You already see the truth with truth being down that you already see the truth. And the fact of the matter is the winds of change, they have come in, okay? The wind is blowing to change everything 
closing out those old chapters is over with. You've purified your vessel. Continue to stay pure in your energy. Don't let this person come in and bring that darkness into your, into your life. You see the truth about this situation. You see the truth about this person and you know the truth about why they're coming in to try to test you because on a spiritual level, you see it from a higher perspective. Okay. And so alchemize the energy, maintain your authority, maintain those healthy boundaries, even if it means Speaking your truth and blocking this person and never speaking to them again. Like literally putting this thing to death so that you can continue to move forward and to embark on this new season of your life. Um, justice is here for you, okay? Um, and you're going to move towards your destiny regardless. Partnerships and alliances. You're going to move towards new people who are in alignment with you, who have the same vision, okay? Or that at least support your vision and you support theirs. It's an equal give and take relationship. There's reciprocity here, okay? So partnerships and alliances, you got destined partnerships and alliances that will be coming into your life. And so you don't have to worry about being tempted to go back to someone who just wants to come in and trauma bond you or guilt trip you or, you know, try to cause up a uh, confrontation with you just to see if you're going to, you know, bow down to them in that energy. No, you know who you are now. And so don't worry about feeling alone or feeling like, you know, okay, well, maybe I can let this person back in because I could use someone to talk to. Heck no. This person is coming in with drama. They might not show that on the surface because we saw the Knight of Cups. So they're going to try to come in and finesse you initially. But behind that, once they get in the door, if you let them in the door, that's when they try to come in like that dog on a snake and they're going to try to bite you. So just know that you're not going to let that person back into your life. Destiny calls for you to close out that cycle with the number 10 here and to move forward towards real partnerships, your true soul family, true um, divine partnerships and unions. We saw the emperor and the empress. So you have now balanced out your energy. And so you will be attracting to you that person that is divinely guided for you. So that's what I got for you all. I love you. I hope this message was um, uh, enlightening for you and that is preparing you for whatever tests might come your way. Now you know what might be down the road, so you know not to take a certain path. Don't get too caught up in, you know, the way things look on, you know, the appearance. Because I was so fixated by the appearance that I almost, you know, my car almost drove off into the water. I, you know, I ended up damn near getting stuck in the snow and having to make a decision. Now I got to choose how I'm going to get myself up out of this. So don't get yourself stuck. Pay attention to the red flags. You already, you know exactly what to anticipate because you've already been given many of the signs when it comes to this particular person and you've dealt with many lessons as a result of having that person in your life. So let's continue to move forward um, past this test, y'all. I know you're going to ace it. I love you. If you want a private reading, email me and I will talk to you all next time.